Nothing of God? How ridiculous. You don't say. Wish you would have noticed me earlier. Now my coat's all charred. The infamous son of Sparta. I'm looking my completely slain by your sword. Oh, Burial. I thought we'd seen the last of you. But at least you're in line with the pattern this game seems to be flowing on. Burial's back. He's bigger. He's badder. He has a few new tricks up his sleeve. He... He's not very smart because he should be rushing at me when I'm just doing this. Whatever. That's one little life bubble that he'll never get back. He's now learned to use the back end of his body to attack you. He's much more effective now. He's scary. He does more damage too, I'm sure of it. After last time, he was licking his wounds, and then he burnt his tongue, and I'm pretty sure that made him pretty pissed off too. Burial's just been having a bad day. More or less. So it is my job to make it worse. That's right. Now the thing about Burial in this fight is that he is uh, a lot harder, but at the same time, because you're Dante, you have so many much, so many much, you have so many, 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 many more ways to deal with him. From a distance, specifically. I don't recommend that you take the entire fight from a distance, but it would certainly help. I lack the, uh, the skill and the timing to dodge most of his attacks as Dante for some reason, even though Dante has more dodging potential. We won't waste any time mulling that over. It's a mystery that scientists have been baffled by for centuries, and there's no point in trying to unravel it now. What you want to do, once again, just like last time, is wait until Burial uses his second Fire Blast attack before taking things on a more up-close and personal scale. Because that does way too much damage for any one person to be comfortable with. It might take an entire football team. Ah, get out of there! <laughs> if it weren't for Trickster, that would have been my butt. Now, remember when I said that big and slow is exactly what you want for the Lucifer? This is what I was talking about. Burial is about as big and slow as it gets. This enemy is so cumbersome. You can get as many blades as you like, and he always attacks you in a linear fashion, which means you can set it up perfectly. I, on the other hand, like to bring the fight to him, but you can be smart. Stay in school. In fact, I can't think of a better boss to use Lucifer against. This is exactly what you want to do. And now that he won't be using the Fire Blast attack anymore, you have full control. The only thing you really have to worry about are those, uh, those pillars. Ah! And that! Jeez! I forgot he could do that. <laughs> oh, man. I should have seen that coming, too. Just make sure that while you're orchestrating your little Lucifer concerto, that uh, you're paying attention to these fire pillars. They are going to be your biggest problem. And that's a little bit of the Yamato blade, in case you were wondering what it looks like. Now when Burial gets weakened, this is the perfect time to use this attack that I've been completely abusing with the Gilgamesh. I kind of messed up. You should be able to get two good hits off, which devastates his HP bar. As you saw, I only hit him once, and he's already... He is on the docks. The dry docks. And so am I, because I'm not very good at dodging fire pillars, apparently. Ah, uh, crap. Ah, fool me once. It's not happening again, Burial. I would love it if the camera would correct itself. That would be swizzle. Alright. It's me and you. It's me or you. One of us is going to die. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to be me, because I am Dante. And, uh, I'm the protagonist. Don't you watch TV? It's a sequence of events that cannot be avoided, Burial. Plus, I have the Lucifer. And that does more damage to you than you would care to admit. I've got at least seven blades attached to your undercarriage. Nobody wants that. Well, except me. As long as it's your undercarriage that we're talking about. As I said before, using the Swordmaster style to direct where your blades are can make a huge difference in a fight like this. 
Sometimes the enemy just isn't where you want him to be. Oh, it's go time, baby. Say goodnight, Gracie! You surpass my abilities. How shameful! You can stay and die. Or you can walk your ugly ass back through that gate. It's your call, pal. <laughs> I've retreated once and will not do so again. let down. I was hoping for a bit more than just a few sparks. children at home, I apologize. The Lucifer is now ours, finally! Powering down. Man, I should have used the ebony and ivory. I didn't know that was the secret to killing him in one hit. Crap. Anyway, next time on Devil May Cry 4.